hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Miss Crochet and Coffee here. And today we are back with an unbagging. Now this unbagging comes to us from Amazon. I had a subscriber contact me and ask me, have I ever tried out this store on Amazon? She was wondering about their quality and if they had poor glue or double-sided tape. And so I told her I would give them a try. And I went and looked for a couple of images to see if I could find anything. And I found one. So this comes to us from the store Kiss But Butty. It's K-I-S-S-B-U-T-Y. Either way. So let's get into it. I hope you guys are having a fabulous day. I'm going to hide my address as I rip into this like a savage, a crafty savage. So we're just going to get into this. It is packaged nicely in this bubble mailer from Amazon and then in this uh, trash bag material here. We're going to rip open the trash bag material and pull this out. All right. So I can tell you right now, this is poured glue. The reason, the, one of the ways you can tell poured glue is that it comes with clear plastic on top where you can actually see the image underneath. So here we go. And here we got three little cheapo baggies. Four, sorry, four cheapo baggies. We got some labels. I don't know how many labels we got. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So was that 32 labels, I think? So we have labels. We have a bunch of labels. Instructions on how to diamond paint. So if you want to pause and take a look at that, it shows you how to diamond paint. I'm not sure what they're doing there. Uh, they're flattening it, but you don't have to use a book to flatten it. You can use like a roller of some sort. Um, so there are the contents of that. So we're going to find the opening here. And it doesn't give you like a 30 by 40 size. It doesn't give you the size in centimeters. It gives you the size in inches. It does say 30 by 40 here on the top. But of course, we're going to measure that just to make sure. And what did I pick? I picked this adorable little fox. It's a white fox. So we picked the adorable little white fox. Editing Alicia will have a picture pop up on the screen on what this adorable little fox is supposed to look like. Oh, The plastic is stuck on here. It looks like they have some defective glue, possibly. Unless it's just being a butt trying to come off now. And don't worry, if you get something that's poured glue, you also don't have to worry about bubbles and rivets in your canvas because it's very unlikely that it will get it in the canvas. You will see some bubbling in the plastic, but not the canvas. But don't worry, that's just the plastic from it being folded and rolled. It looks like we have... Sorry, I'm trying to make sure this is all flat. Good gravy. This plastic is not liking this. You can also recover your canvas... Uh, with like parchment paper or what have you, whatever you like to cover your your projects with. Um, yeah, I'm riding the struggle bus on this one. Good gravy. All right, we're just gonna leave it like that. So here it is, our adorable little fox. And again, I edited Alicia, since she didn't do it the first time, he's gonna put it up now. That's what the image is supposed to look like. And I got this because I thought it was very cute and I wanted to see how it goes. So it looks like it has 20 colors and you do have a schematic on this side and down here at the bottom. So there's a plus for you. Um, we're going to measure it to see if it measures to size. So centimeters wise, it's supposed to be a 30 by 40. So we're going to measure from the black line at the top of the canvas to the line down at the bottom. So it looks like it is not true to size. Looks like the entire canvas is 40. The actual drilling area is 24 and 7 quarters or something. Um, it's not quite, it's not quite 35. Oh, let me, nope, there we go. It's not quite 35. And it's not quite, it's about 25 this way and about 35 that way so it's not true to size so if you're wondering that it is not true to size it is very tacky 
Um, as you can see, it, it is very tacky. Let's look at the symbol quality here. It looks like the symbols are really clear. The number fours are a little dark on the camera, but you can actually see them pretty good with the naked eye here. The symbols are nice and bright. There are no training wheels. This is a round kit as well. There aren't any training wheels or anything. And of course, it has your information there at the top. Here's your symbol list. I love the fact that they do one through nine. And then they go through the alphabet a little bit. And they use symbols that don't seem to be too much alike. They're not like similar where you're going to get them mixed up. The colors are different variations so that you don't get those mixed up as well. There are a lot of blues in here. Looks like you have some color blocking confetti. Lift you back up here. Now let's take a look at the drills. Oh, here's your toolkit. So you get a pink pan with a single placer, a couple more baggies, a little plate of wax, a green boat with no spout. Nobody cares about the boat. And then we get this here. So here are your drills. So if you're someone who doesn't like to hear the noise of the crinkling plastic, please mute your phone for like mm, 30 seconds. Or until you see me stop struggling. All right, get rid of that plastic. Now, these bags do not give you the DMC number. So unfortunately, there's no DMC number on the side of the, on the schematic, and there also is no DMC number on the drill. So unfortunately, these will not be drills that I would be keeping just because of the simple fact that there's no DMC codes, and I would have to go through my DMC code book to match them up. And with me being colorblind, I don't trust myself to do that, and I don't want to really put the work on Mr. Coffee. So they'll probably just go into a jar of stuff that we'll use for the kids or something. So it looks like they are numbered, though. So it has the it has the information. So it's, it does have the canvas information, W542, W542. And then this number one coincides with the number one on the side here. So number one... Number two, three, four, four looks like three, ten, five, six, which is a blue, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19 and 20. So real quick inventory there for you. So it does look like it has all of its colors. And this is like a little snack size painting. So like you don't have to expect anything too extravagant with it. Now, the drill quality. How's the drill quality? The drills look good. I'm not seeing any trash. I love that peachy color. I'm going to guess this is mostly for the fox's color. Nice flat drills. I'm not seeing a whole lot of dimples. Well, there's some dimples in those, but not a whole lot. Again, I'm not seeing any trash, but you want to look in your... For the drill quality, really, to me, I like looking in the darker colors because they're so mass-produced. The darker colors are what's going to give you a lot of your issue. And from the looks of it, again, I'm not seeing any trash. I'm not seeing any knobbly bits. I would say the drill quality is really good. So have you yourself tried this store on Amazon? Now, do keep in mind that because of the pandemic that's going on, packages are taking a little bit longer. So even Amazon Prime packages are taking four to five business days. So please do not get upset if you order something from Amazon or anywhere else and it takes longer to get to you than expected. There is a pandemic going on and everything is taking its time because of people being out of work and them trying to get a hold of this whole like sickness thing. So if you have a package that you're waiting on, whether it be from Amazon or anywhere else, just do keep in mind to practice patience as they are trying to get everybody's stuff to them as quickly as possible. But sometimes it's unavoidable with everything going on and places shutting down. So it did take uh, about four days for me to get this. Four or five days for me to get this. No need for me to fret or get upset about it. It's not like I don't have a whole room full of diamond paintings I could do while I'm waiting for this one to get here. So um, I'm not going to point them for that. Uh, the symbol clarity looks really good on the kit. The drills look really good. Um, I do wish they had the DMC code and that it was true to size since it's not true to size. Um... 
but it does have the information you need that if you were to store this separately from the canvas that you can easily find it without having to guess which drills go to which canvas. So and as you can see, you can see the adorable little fox in the image. Another reason why I like poured glue is that you can actually see the image before you put the drills onto it. And of course, it may look splotchy right now, but you won't know how that's going to look until you put the drills on the canvas. So do not drug, judge a book by its cover. So with that said, I would definitely say I give them a thumbs up. The canvas is good. The drills look really good. The only things I would change is the DMC codes. I would put those on the drills and I would make sure the canvas is true to size because you could tell that, you know, they were mass producing these because here on the side here, you got a little bit of a legend from one that was cut off with it. But that's cool. That's cool. So yes, it's K-I-S-S-B-U-T-Y over on Amazon. Again, I will have editing Alicia put up a picture of what it's supposed to look like versus the actual canvas itself. If you yourself would like to give it a try, go ahead on over. I will have it linked down in the description box of this video. And do keep in mind that if I do link anything from Amazon, I am an Amazon influencer and I will make a tiny commission off of yourself. So I thank you in advance if you decide to use that link. But with that said, folks, that is it for me. I, I say go give them a try. It's poor glue. Why not? So with that said, folks, thank you so much for watching. If you have any other questions, comments, concerns, leave those down in the comment section below. If you're new to the channel and like to see more random crazy unboxings just like this, please feel free to hit that subscribe button and the bell to be notified anytime I randomly decide to put up a video. And believe me, it's random. But with that said, folks, I now must bid you adieu. But not before reminding you, like I always try to. Be kind. Be courteous. Be cool. Bye, guys.